Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you are a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Trayvon's RV Center here to congratulate you on your purchase of your Flagstaff Mac 176 Limited Tank Camper. That's pretty cool. Pop up here, I'm going to show you how to use a few things on it, get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite. A couple things to take into consideration when parking. You have room for your awning to come out on your campsite. And on your off campsite, I want you to think about where your power and water connections are going to be. Small unit, so not a big difference, but the power will be here and your water connection will be right up here. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, first thing you do is level your unit. Unit comes with a hand crank level. I would just get an external level and set it on top there and watch that until you've got your unit level. Once you have your unit level, next thing you do is stabilize your unit. Rear view unit back here. It's a three quarter inch hand crank that'll run these stabilizing jacks down. Show you how they're on the pads here. You're just gonna wanna run these down just until they're taut. Um, remember these are stabilizing jacks, not leveling jacks. You don't wanna change the levelness of it. Get yourself a two pack of uh, jack pads from our store. That'll help protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt and debris and a hot black top in the summer. Uh, distributes the weight better. Run them down, two of them are taut. Once your unit's level and stable, we're gonna go ahead and open the unit up. Now you go around. I started to do a couple already. We'll unsnap these. On all four corners. Once you got all four corners loose, we're gonna grab our hand crank, which I was storing your towing vehicle. Because with this down, you cannot get in that door until you pop this open a little bit. So the hand crank in here and start cranking to the right. Set this on here while I crank this real quickly. Comes up quick. The main thing we're going to be wanting to watch is that green tension wire right there. So we want to run that up until that taunt. Once you've got your Tension on that, maybe one more crank. We know we're up high enough. Now to access a few things indoors, we're gonna go ahead and pull our beds open. Simply grab the end here, pull it out straight towards you. Let that rest. Same thing on the other end here. Once them are out, we're gonna take and zip down these Velcros. Don't strap that over yet. Let's go around and make sure all four of those are zipped down nice and tight. here this one's good and zipped and zip our last one here now we're gonna have a couple safety bars to put in let's pull this around 
explain these safety bars. Coming up inside your door here, pull your power cord out, grab our safety bars. You have a pair of these. Now the way to set these up, whichever corner you put these in, I'll start this one here. The other one will go in the opposite rear corner. If I were to put this one in here, the other one would go in the front corner. So you have a flat end and a tapered end. The tapered end is gonna go in up top. Set that in there, snap that on, and that is a safety. We will put the other one in the opposite corner. Tape it up high, square down here. Move your material out of the way. And just snap it in. Now we've got our safety brackets in. Now we can go ahead and bring these Velcros around. Pull our corners around, down. Besides our corners, up underneath is going to be this Velcro that you can pull and tuck in here. Line all the way across there. You can do that on both sides. And then you have this uh, safety string that'll go across the other side and that'll keep your canvas pulled nice and tight. If we've got our canvas, we're gonna go ahead and put our legs up underneath there. These black pieces right here. Two for the front and two for the back. So you have two short bars and two long bars. Short ones will go in the front. Slide that in there. You have to lift up on your bed a little bit to get that to go in there. Get both of them in. Then your long bars will go in the back. That will go in here. Lift up on your bed. And take that in like so. Again, bring your Velcro down on these ends and tie your string across. So you put our Velcros around these. Nice thing we're gonna do outside is we're gonna store our door. It's gonna lift right up off here. Come up underneath here. Just slide those in there. there and bungee this up here like so and that's how you store that small door all right before we go inside let me walk you around the outside of the unit it's got a unit level and stable and our bed's out we can hook up our power and water big long power cord to plug in right here 30 amp service at the end of that 30 amp service, should you need, there's a, a 30 to 110 adapter. It comes in a convenience pack. And if we got our power hooked up, let's hook up our water. We'll hook up the campsites on our city water connection. First and foremost, your water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure 40 to 50 PSI. Protecting the lines in your unit. Hook that up. Hook up your hose. And you're all set for a city water connection. Now, if you're boondocking, you'll fill up your potable water tank. No need for a water pressure regulator here. Simply fill it up with a hose. You have an overflow valve right here to tell when it's full. Once that's full, put your cap back on here, unhook your hose, and that's when you'll turn on your water pump if you want to utilize that water. And walk you around the rest of the unit. This is a access panel to the back of your fridge, your water drain. Again, power, potable water, prep for AC. You can run an AC unit in through here. Again, your stabilizing jacks. On the front here is a lip for your griddle. You can bring that out here with your quick connect LP right there. This is a flue for your furnace. If you run your furnace, steer clear of that, it will get warm.
Coming up to the front of the unit. Now get ready to hook up your propane. Your propane does come in a regulator. And then your battery posts, check them now and then make sure those haven't wiggled loose over time. What covers everything out here? Let's take a look on the inside. All right, so stored right here, where's your griddle? Let's show you how to set that up out here. It just sets on that lip here. Coming inside the unit is your fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone's camping with you knows that the fire extinguisher is located at the entry doorway in case of an emergency. Coming up above that is a template for where it's wired for solar. Let's come inside here, lift your table up. When you do, it's going to push that light right there. Push that button and it's going to turn our lights on. How are we going to push these beds out? One is shorter than the other. Make sure I get the short one for the front. So we got a straight end and a curved end. Our curved end is going to go up. This end, you're going to hook right in here to your black area and push out. As that pushes out, oh, the long one goes on the front. Oh, this will push up in here. Easier to do with two hands. Just like so. Repeat the process on the other end. Get bar up in there. Push it out. Clamp up here. Let's bring our table up. See if we lift this cushion, bring it to the back, or bring it right off for a moment. Show you a few things under here. Bring your table up underneath. A couple of legs. Set them in before we set our table on top. Underneath here. Underneath here is your propane tank that we put on the front. Good storage area. Make sure you have that square. And set your table on top of that. Put our cushions down. And there's our dinette. Now we got it all set up. Let me walk you around the rest of the unit here. So here you do have some storage. Underneath here is a 110. Here's your furnace. Take that on. You hear that kick on. Shut that off. It, the fan for those always take a few minutes to shut off. Get your hot and cold water. We'll bring your door down here in just a minute. Talk about a few other things here. USB ports. Here's where you turn on your water pump if you're using potable water. This is your 12 volt carbon dioxide propane detector. If you are out boondocking, nothing plugged in charging battery, just connect your battery post if you're going to be gone for the day to keep that from running your battery down. Below that, access panel to your breaker box and fuses. I would recommend having a handful of those with you when you go camping. Over here's your furnace. Below that is a ceiling light. No awning light. Some storage here. There's your wire if you ever decide to get it wired for uh, AC. That's your wire for that. Heated blankets, heated mattress pads, excuse me. Just plug them in here on the end. Right there. You also have a light available that you can plug in here. It's a light fan combo that'll snap on here. Continuing through here, 110 down here to plug your mattress into, tons of storage. And there's your furnace shutting off. Now let me show you how to bring down your front door. 
So you're gonna unhook here. This is gonna lift up out of here. Line that up and unsnap these sides. When you do, that's gonna allow this to hang from them wires. You're gonna lift this up out of here and let it come down gently. Then these wires are all gonna slide forward. Bring your whole door forward. Can you see these black things here? We're gonna line them up with these slots. All right, so we've got this lined up, top and bottom, to where we can pull this in and lock these sides. Bring them out like that. Then we're gonna start Velcroing. Right up the side here, one to the outside, one to the inside. We'll snap these up like that. Open our door to the outside. Put this Velcro on out here. Nice and tight all the way up. And our door is ready. It really covers everything on the inside. Let's act like we're leaving the campsite. First thing I like to do is lay down my bed. Again, we're just going to do the process of everything. Put the table up. Move our legs. Get my glasses. Put our table up in here. Set our cushions down. Start tucking things away. We're gonna put this door back up. Reverse the process here. And hook our canvas. Inside and out, which you can kind of do from here. Unhook these. So all four of them are done. Snapped here. We'll unhook this. And you see, this is best. Just lift it right up to the outside. The wrist of off. Lift it like to walk it in from here. Better the wires have to guide it down. Get it in nice and softly. And run our wires all the way down to the other end here. And once we're down this far, we'll again snap this back in here. Snap these up. Before bringing this down, let's push in and release our mattresses. These can be stored right on top of here, gives you plenty of room. Now we can fold this down, it's going to shut our lights off. We'll pack your griddle away and start unhooking Velcro. Now as we're undoing our fabric, making sure that we're zipping these back up here. 
and then tuck it on canvas back behind. I'll go back in. Once we've done all the corners like that, we're going to take our safety brackets out. Remember, we've got that one on each corner. So our safety brackets are unhooked. We can gently push our bags in. Oh, nope. We can start unhooking our bars. I like to just get up underneath, lift up with my back. Easiest way to pull these out of here. Grab it, lift up. Tuck it out of there. And I'll push these in, easier with two hands. All right, now coming around to the back, before pushing our back, we're gonna bring our side door, I wanna release that. Lift up on your thing here, remove that. Bring that over. Just set that in like so. Stereo door is ready. Now we can bring our bunks in. Brought the one in from the other end. Let's tuck our canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. We'll start cranking it down. All right, before cranking this down, I've brought up my stabilizing jacks. We'll come here and we will dump this low point drain. Try to get all your water dumped out. And we'll come up here and start cranking this down. Nice if it's two person job, someone can tuck the canvas for you as you're going down. One person all by yourself, I like to get about halfway. Walk around and just start tucking everything in. Make sure we get everything up in there nice and taut. We'll continue cranking it down and continue bringing our canvas. Everything else is tucking in nicely. Take your green tension wire, tuck that up in there. I think we can bring the rest way down. We've got her down, we've walked around, make sure everything's tucked in. Just push down on our ends. Hook up our clamps. Hook up our hitch. Make sure these are nice and tight. and head on home. Again, thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy this Mac for many years to come. Happy camping.